In this video, I'll be talking about the turning effect of forces. So, what is a moment? Well, a moment is the turning effect of forces. Factors affecting the moment include the force applied on the object and the distance from the pivot. The moment of a force is the greatest when force is applied at 90 degrees to the object and is the furthest from the pivot. So, how do you calculate moments? Well, to calculate moments, you have to multiply the force and the distance from the pivot. And this is the formula triangle for calculating moments. So, what is moment equilibrium? Well, moment equilibrium states that the total clockwise moment equals the total anti-clockwise moment. I'll explain what all that means using this diagram that I'm drawing right now. That is the pivot. Here is our first weight, that is our second weight. Let's say this weight is 10 newtons and this one is 5 newtons. And the distance from the 10 newtons weight to the pivot is 2 meters. And the distance from the pivot to the 5 newtons weight is 4 meters. Using these information, we can calculate the anti-clockwise moment and the clockwise moment. So the anti-clockwise moment would be 2 times 10, giving us 20 newtons meter. And the clockwise moment would be 5 times 4, giving us 20 newtons meter. So, when the total um, anti-clockwise moment equals to the total clockwise moment, the objects are balanced, or we can say they're at equilibrium. And that is my explanation of the total anti-clockwise moment equals the total clockwise moment. So now we know that this is balanced and it's not tilting to the right or the left side. Now let's move on to the center of mass. So the center of mass is a point on an object where the mass is distributed evenly around the object. We can find the center of mass of an object using a plumb line as shown in the image. Moving on to stability, so it is said that objects are stable if the center of mass is towards the bottom of an object and the object have a large base. This object is an example of a stable object because as you can see, the center of mass is towards the bottom of the object and the base of the object is quite large.